So I am very, very, very excited to show you guys this. So this is Mad Mushroom's first game. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Look at that piercing. Look at that piercing. Nine health. Oh my god. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go to playatomicpicnic.com. That is Mad Mushroom's first game. The the publishing company that, that me, Asmund Soda, the tips, OTK, like we, we all started this publishing company together where we publish games. Atomic Picnic is our very first game that we picked up. It is like a roguelike shooter, super, super fun. It's in like alpha. It needs more time in the oven to cook. What we're doing now is we're doing a play test that you guys can sign up for at playatomicpicnic.com. I really want your guys' feedback on it. Is it free? Yeah, the play test is free. You sign up for the play test and it gives you a Steam key and then you can play on Steam. Dude, actually, I kind of want to play Atomic Picnic now. I've really been wanting to show people this for a while. This is Mad Mushroom's first game. So this is this is our first game. We're publishing it. So we're not we're not developing, we're publishing. Bitcake, that's the that's the studio that's, that actually goes and they develop it and stuff. So we've been working very closely with them to do get this thing out there, and we're very, very, very excited. Dude, that's us, dude. Mad Mushroom, dude, that's us. Isn't that crazy? Like, that is insane. Like, that's insane. Am I, dude, I'm like fanboying about Steam or something. I don't even know. Like, I'm actually like, I'm like, this is crazy. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is, it's literally, it's a pre-alpha. This is an early alpha build. Start a picnic. So you go, you know, you can pick one of the characters. Um, you got Ash, Bonnie. Honey, JD. Let's just do the default, right? I always play as Ash. Uh, so, so you have assault rifle, you have grenade launcher, you have shotgun, sniper, you have all kinds of different weapons. So when you guys do this play test, when you guys are a part of this play test, try out all the different weapons and just see, see how things feel. Um, assault rifle is probably the most like intuitive, but there's like different power ups and stuff that change things, right? Like the grenade launcher might play differently or the shotgun might play differently or the sniper might play differently based on the different power ups that you get. And then there's also like your device. It's like your grenade and stuff. So uh, like your, it's like an on use like special item. As one says, sniper is his favorite. I mean, mine's changed a few times throughout development, but I'm gonna keep it simple and go with assault rifle. We'll just go Ash assault rifle, Astalo, and start. Atomic picnic. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, it's a roguelike game. You have uh, level one, way, level two, saviors, or level one, saviors, mass, level one, archers, keychain. It has all these different things. Uh, I'm gonna do way because I'm gonna have full health a lot early on, so that'll be good. So you go and you shoot stuff, right? And then I can go pick up these orbs for XP. So then I go, fast reload. I clicked again for a fast reload. Go get my XP, nice, level up. Uh, lightning in a bottle, this will give me a shock every single time that I do fast reload, or I can get 10% more damage at full health by getting away level two. I'm gonna do lightning in a bottle, get the, uh, get the rhythm game going, doing a little bit of seal twist action. See that, got that big AOE, that big shock. The world buffs went out. Kind of, kind of rewarded the uh, the rhythm gameplay. So I go. So the first levels are easy, and they should be right. Um, Secretary's glasses. Increase the efficiency of your weapon by upgrading its magazine size and fire rate. I can also go more way, uh, or I can do tennis ball. I'm gonna do more tennis ball, just during uh, tennis ball instead of more way, just to uh, kind of show off more of different abilities. The reason I didn't do secretary glasses is because it kind of works against the lightning. Because with the lightning, I actually kind of want to run out of mana fast, right? Or run out of ammo fast. But inevitably, like, there might be a point where it's still worth just to get both. But uh, just for the sake of early game. Okay, get my get my XP. Um, Mr. Pinball, bullets have a chance to ricochet to nearby enemies. Trolls tag, change your weapons, firing trigger to work like a minigun. 
or piercing shots. Let's do, let's do piercing. The minigun is sick because the minigun actually changes like the mechanics of some of the weapons. We'll do that later. You see the top left? Let's say you're watching somebody play this. You can see on the top left their power up so far. So it, it makes it easy for you to keep up with like what they're doing. But see, look how much more like cleave I'm doing. You see how much more AOE I'm doing? Boom, there's a big shock. Yeah. Okay, uh, Vol uh, Walkie Pod. Whenever you successfully fast reload your weapon, create a sound wave that deals damage around you. So I already have something that works off the fast reload. So if I do something else that works off the fast reload, I'm like, okay, I'll stack them. So let's try how this goes. I ended up getting hit there. But but you see that? It was like the big AOE. Okay, let's get some XP here. I tried playing this solo, I was getting effed. Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's a very fun game. You can play it up to four players. So if you guys join my Discord, discord.gg slash tv, look at that big sound wave. And there's always new stuff being added, right? There's, there's probably stuff in this build that I haven't even seen yet. So we can do more piercing. <sighs> Let's do more piercing. Oh yeah, the jump dash, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the jump dash. This will be fun on the Steam Deck. Yeah, I haven't played it on the Steam Deck yet. I literally just bought one, but, I, but I, that's like one of the big things that, uh... Oh, it does work! Oh, that was sick! Okay, so I gotta figure that out with a jump, so... Uh, your bullets have a chance to explode on hit, make your bullets faster and able to bounce. Uh, chance to shoot a volley of bullets towards nearby enemies. Let's do your bullets have a chance to explode. Because if I can ricochet and explode bullets, you know, maybe they don't explode initially, but maybe they explode on the next hit. I got 57 health right now. Okay. Oh! I hit hard. Ready? Big AoE? Uh-oh. Dude, I gotta get something that gives me healing. Oh, frick. Oh, dude, I'm taking big damn, actually. Uh, I gotta play more defensive here. Zona spawned a healing shrine, okay. Uh, let's see, Lover's Nails again, Walkie Pod again. Let's get more level Lover's Nails. I gotta get my health up. This actually looks sick. Dude, I'm glad you like it, man. Uh, health bonus, health, oh, I don't have enough. Okay, let's go get some of these, let's go some get some of this currency. Oh, dude, it's so sick. So. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I haven't even used my grenade yet. Dude, I'm I'm freaking out. This is this is gonna be bad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, dude. Oh, I'm backed into a corner. Dude, this is bad. We're not even to the mini boss yet. Frick! Okay, we go again. We do run it back, run it back, run it back. I took too much damage trying to show stuff off early on. Looks great for pre-alpha. Yeah, dude. Shows a different weapon. Do you guys want to see the same weapon or do you guys want to see a different weapon? I'll, I'll do a different weapon this time. Show a different one? Okay, okay, well, let's show the shotgun now. Okay, uh, let's do, let's just go down the list. We'll go grenade launcher. Uh, let's go grenade launcher with Hani. Okay. 80% Miz's fault, true. 10% Chad's fault, 10% my fault, 80% Miz's fault. Okay, um, let's do Secretary's Glasses. For the grenade launcher. 
Okay. I normally do shotgun or assault rifle. Grenade launcher might get, oh frick. Oh no, it bounced over him. Okay, good. Um, change your weapon firing trigger to work like a minigun. Okay, how is this gonna go with a grenade launcher? I don't think I've done this with a grenade launcher before. Oh, 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 oh. oh, sick. So you have to load up forever. But what are you doing? It's just doof, 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 doof. Ready? Dude, and when you fast reload off of it, you don't have to charge. You keep it, you keep it rolling. So fast reload. It is definitely hard to land though. So when you're shooting, you run slow with this grenade launcher. Okay, there's a bunch of XP that I haven't picked up. I gotta figure out something. Fire rate plus 10. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damn. Let's see if I can get like a blood bag or something. Get something where I can get some life steal. Liberates the hidden potential of your weapon, increasing damage and fire rate. So that, that's a healing shrine. Blood bag. Small chance of recovering health when you defeat an enemy. Okay, get our health back on the healing shrine. So this is a, this is a grenade launcher with a minigun attack with a minigun uh, power up. So it takes a minute to load or to, to get it rolling, but once it does, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh my gosh, this is bad. No! I'm, oh no, it was behind me. I was gonna run, I ran right into it. Okay, okay, that was the grenade launcher. That was a grenade launcher. Yeah, chat, you go to playatomicpicnic.com, it brings you right here, and you guys can just sign up. Yeah, you guys can sign up right here. Yeah, super, super cool. Uh, we're, we're gonna, I, I wanna show the other ones. Will there be a melee class? Maybe there could be. You guys give that feedback. Uh, okay, let's play, that was with Hani. Here, let's play with Bonnie. Okay, this is with a shotgun now, chat. So this is shotgun with Bonnie. Oh yeah, minigun with a shotgun. Minigun with a shotgun goes crazy. This is the run, chat. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm already feeling it. This is the run 100%. People were saying they were playing this on uh, with their Steam Deck and it was sick. I haven't played it on a Steam Deck yet. That was part of the reason why I bought a Steam Deck. Uh, let's get the blood bag. Increases damage the longer you hold down fire. So I'm holding down fire a lot because the minigun, right? So now I have minigun and battlegrounds pan. So I'm holding it down longer so it'll stack my damage up higher. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there are more power-ups that we're just kind of getting these uh, these rolls here. Yo, Kip, did they make this? I swear they made this harder for the play test. Okay, I, I swear, man. Yes, we did. What, Elon? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> now everybody's like, "How come this man is so bad?" <laughs> oh, frick. Oh my gosh, dude. No! No! I didn't have my shift! Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. 
So there's a timer on this. It was like it was like 0.1 seconds whenever I died. Yeah, it was like 0.1 seconds I've died. It's Ashmill of the update. Dude, this is our first game from Mad Mushroom. Yeah, this is our first game. Is that the game involving game dev? Well, we, we didn't develop the game. We're publishing the game. Big Cake is the, the studio. Uh, for Atomic Picnic, and we're the publisher. Tips, me, Asmin, Soda, the whole the whole gang together. We we uh, we started this uh, we started this publishing company, Mad Mushroom, a while back, and uh, this is our first game. So and Co Co Carnage just joined us. True. Okay, let's do uh, let's do JD and let's look at Sniper. I feel like Sniper. I haven't used a Sniper in a while. Co owner. Let's do add the chance to deal critical damage with each hit. Chance to shoot a volley of bullets towards nearby enemies. We haven't used Archer's keychain yet. So right click, sniper. So sniper, I think will be real good with um, you can no, like you can semi no scope. You have a crosshair, right? But you can get like piercing, and you can shoot through. A, oh, here you go. Here's your piercing. So like, let's say if they're lined up, here, let's line them up to show off the piercing, so. See, like, shot all three of them. Kind of sick, right? Nice. If you use the skill for the sniper, you get plus one piercing. So plus one piercing is plus two piercing. What's the currency for? Uh, I'm gonna get more of it, and you can actually buy upgrades on the map. I haven't even done that yet, because I keep not really coming across them. Magazine fire rate, damage and fire rate. Let's increase our magazine and fire rate, because our damage is so high with the sniper. But you see those upgrades? Those things are the upgrades you can buy with currency, and these yellow uh, gems. Let's go here. And I think there's more up there. But basically, as you get those, you can get like, see like a proc chance, damage bonus, you can get like bonuses like that. Yeah, there, there are map bosses as well. Oh frick, I didn't get both of them. So I used my Astalo there. That's one of the things I'm bad at. I'm bad at using the devices. Sick. Dude, I, the piercing on the sniper when you line them up feels so good. Blood bag is probably gonna be good for me. So what are, what are you guys' thoughts so far, chat? Like, just watching it, have any of you guys played it? There is a free play test right now. Good difficulty, lots of fun, nice. Look at that piercing, look at that piercing! What rings you got? Bullets explode on hit. Let's do bullets explode. Timer when selecting upgrades makes me nervous at the start since I don't know all the upgrades. Do you think it would be better if at the very first on oh, like whenever you launch the game, when you first start a picnic, maybe maybe there's no timer on the initial uh, on the initial power up selection. Oh my gosh, that was sick. I think it's fine if there's not a timer on any of them. Mm. Can you compete with other players? So you can play co-op, which is part of the reason why you would need a timer. What's the purpose of the timer at all? I think adding a timer kind of adds like a sense of urgency and like kind of that like stress factor makes it, I think a little bit more, um, like my opinion isn't dead set on it, but like I was like, well, I, I'm not opposed to the timer because maybe it makes it like more like, oh frick, like we gotta go. Now, I do think that what's nice about the timer is if you're playing co-op, like, you can't, like, grief and, and hold it on the power-up screen forever. Maybe there's a world where you only have the, the timer on the... on co-op game mode? Yeah, keep in mind, chat... Frick! Keep in mind, chat, the game is in pre-alpha. Like, this is literally version 0.2. I'm, I'm trying to upgrade as much as possible before the next boss. Damage bonus. 
Oh, jellyfish is here. Okay. They'll automatically reload both weapons and make a noise letting you know you twisted. Good idea. I think I, I think that's a great idea. Okay, we got one of his orbs down. Okay, so you, so what you need to do on this boss? See those eyes? So you need to take out a shield. So he has big blue blue shield up top. And then whenever he's down, you take out the eyes. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna take so much damage. I actually didn't want to I didn't want to force the boss until I was full health. Dude, I'm worried I might die. Man, Dude, it's crazy. The blood bag just does not proc, man. Two and a half bars left, man. Come on, 43 health, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, there's so many ads, man. No, no. Nine health. Oh my god! Holy! Oh my gosh! That was so intense, dude! Oh my! 52 minutes! Holy shit! Dude, my eyes are like. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so cool, man. Oh man. Holy. Holy. Oh my gosh. I didn't even get to look at the final screen, man. Amazing. Amazing. We'll do one 52 minutes later. So epic. Holy crap, man. That was incredible, dude. That was actually incredible, man. I'm uh, I'm so excited for this game, dude. Uh, people have been working so hard on this thing, man. Um, people have been working so hard, so it's uh, it's it's cool to see it finally. Like people get to get to see it. Um, that's the that's the best run I've had since uh, since actually that's probably that's the best run I've had ever. Actually, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a long time coming, man. Bit Cake is the studio working on this, and then obviously we're publishing it. Mad Mushroom, which is you know it's it's OTK, so uh, I'm I'm very very excited, man. We've we've been working hard on this. Uh, the little bit of time I have off stream, it's been some of it's been spent working on this. You know, it, it, it would mean a lot to me if you guys go to playatomicpicking.com. You guys get involved in the playtest. It's only a week long, 
So it would mean a lot to me if you guys got involved and uh, help to, to be able to give us some feedback on this. So, um, yeah, there's, uh, there, there's a lot. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I was not expecting to be up this late. I wanted to just do one quick run of Atomic Picnic, but I hope you guys enjoyed YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, everything is SFAN TV. Make sure to check out the website, playatomicpicnic.com. Uh, I had an absolute blast today. 